What's up guys, gals, and non-binary pals? Welcome back to Art by Flam. Today, um, I'm gonna be honest, I struggled real hard to get this video out. Like, I had other videos that I could use, that I could have just done a voiceover for, and put it out, and it would have been easy, but I didn't want to use any of those, so I drew something entirely new. And it's nothing too complicated or extravagant, but, um, I got it finished and I got a video recorded and now I'm I'm pretty happy with it actually. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Um, because I knew the coloring process and wouldn't be too intensive um, for this piece, I decided to include the sketching phase. So you can see that here. I know I don't include that in a lot of videos because a lot of the time my sketching phase just takes me a couple of hours or a couple of days depending on whether or not I'm piddling around on the internet between actually sketching. So uh, yeah, I decided to include that one because on this one I just sat down focused on sketching it and got it done in a short amount of time so I included it um, so you can see how wrong I sketch everything <laughs> um, I redo this hand a couple of times so you'll definitely get a good look at that while I'm trying to figure out how to get that uh, classic anime older sister like laugh behind the hand pose there <laughs> um, so yeah I recently let me right back up here okay so uh, my favorite villain in the entirety of the Sailor Moon series is Black Lady, or Wicked Lady, I guess, if you watch the, um, uh, American version. She is absolutely my favorite villain in this entire series. Freaking Nihalania who? Galaxia what? Nah, you can keep all those other fabulous lady villains. This girl has my heart. And I was so excited when I went into the, the bookstore the other day, and I found that they had the, um, SH figure arts, which are those little posable figures. Uh, of her, so I snatched that up even though I didn't really have the cash to do so. It's not like I'm- I didn't break the bank to buy her or anything, but the logical side of my brain was saying, maybe don't buy her right now, but the part of my brain that loves instant gratification and also Sailor Moon was like, no, no, you need that right now, so I ended up getting it, which I'm really kind of mad because as I was putting together, I actually broke her hair off. <laughs> because it was held into her bun with this tiny plastic peg. You'll see it in the vlog that goes up tomorrow. Um, so I had to glue that back in, so it doesn't have as much range of motion, uh, but it's still definitely an amazing figure, and I love it a whole, whole bunch. So I just felt like she was kind of in my brain, so she's what I drew. And so here you can see the little TV version of her taking shape, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've been drawing Sailor Moon buns the exact same way since since I first saw the show. <laughs> I, um, I never, like, <laughs> I may put more detail into them sometimes, but if it's, like, a simple drawing, it's the exact same texture, the exact same way I drew the lines, everything. It's the exact same since I've learned how to draw it. And I'm pretty sure I pulled that from, like, a poster or a picture I had. So, some things never change. Um, I struggled a bit with her hair. Um, probably the curse of breaking it on the toy. Uh, so you'll see me fiddling around with that a lot too, trying to get that to look decent. I think I did an alright job. Um, I'd, I'd have made it longer, but she already has so much flowing things with her dress and her sash and things like that. So, um, I kind of kept it, tried to keep it all contained. Um, the other thing I did differently with this one is I did lineless art, but I didn't do it in Photoshop. Normally, when I do lineless art, I'll take it into Photoshop and use the, the line, the shapey pen tool, that's the word, uh, and use the pen tool, but this time I just kept it in paint tool side and just traced out all the different shapes that I wanted and all the different colors. Um, you can see my palette there, um, and uh, filled them in just and used paint tool side. <laughs> uh, it was really different. If I'd done it in Photoshop, I think it would have taken me less time. Um, but I really wanted to challenge myself and use Paint Tool Sai a bit more, so that's what I did. And again, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. It's There's a lot of different layers for this particular one, so it was a really nice, a really interesting thing to kind of get them all to work together, specifically because she has, her outfit is simple, but she has a lot of intricate little details, it feels like, that I had to make sure and uh, that didn't overlap or overlay each other. And you'll see some, several times that, I forgot some areas, well, some areas were, and I had to go back and fix them, and just stuff like that, so. Moving on to her sash here. Um, it really started out as this deep red, and I realized that was wrong, so you'll see me change it to purple later. Um, I thought about making, well, part of me wants to make stickers out of this, but I know I can't 
probably can't, at least not via Redbubble, uh, because it's a copyrighted character. But I'm, I'm, I want at least a sticker for myself. <laughs> Might stick her on my sketchbook or something. Because like I said, she's my absolute favorite villain. Like her story and Chibi Yusa's in general. When I was a kid, I didn't like Chibi Yusa. I thought she was annoying and I thought she was rude and I didn't like her. But as I got older and actually thought more about her character and the circumstances she was in, I can definitely see why she acted the way she did in uh, her the first season she was there. Because, you know, she was a scared kid. But later, when she's still a jerk for no reason, no, grow up, forget that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she's she's quickly becoming she's she went from one of my least liked characters to one of my favorite characters, and you know, Black Lady really helped with that because, like I said, she's my absolute favorite villain. Um, just adding in some of the details now. I don't really have a lot to say on this video, so pardon me if I ramble a bit. Uh, but I'm going back in right now and adding in the little diamonds and I'm going to start doing the actual like colored lines. I could have just left it block color but I really feel like I was missing a bunch of the detail that I enjoyed from my sketch so I went back in and <laughs> you see my renaming my layers. Uh, I went back in and started adding more details in with just darker colors. Um, and I, I like how that came out. I tried to add like shading like a, a light shading in Photoshop later, but again, I felt like that detracted from the piece itself. So it's basically just flat coloring in some, excuse me, detailed lines to make everything just sort of pop. And again, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Normally, um, I don't do content for videos all in one night. I like to space them out so I don't stress out about it, but I was just procrastinating so hard on getting this week's video done. Like, I wanted to do anything but work on a video <laughs> for this week, which is unusual for me, because normally I love making videos. I love my channel, and I love to make content for my channel, but this week it was just not something I wanted to do. <laughs> and so I, I, when I came home from work yesterday, I was just like, okay, today I'm gonna work on a video, I'm gonna get it done, and I'm gonna just get it off of my plate. And so I laid around on the couch, watched my roommate, play Legend of Zelda for a while and then I got to work and finish this up. <laughs> so we should be shifting on into the final piece here shortly. Let's give it just a few seconds, draw it out. And there she is. If you like what you see, don't forget to click that like button. You can leave a comment down below. Um, you can subscribe if you want a new video for me every single week in your inbox. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye <laughs>